Thankfully, over the last 30 years, the number of deaths on Australian roads has been decreasing. Sort of basically got to keep moving until we can find somewhere where we can pull over. But fatigue still takes a tragic toll, especially amongst long-distance drivers of heavy vehicles. It's a worry to think that any of these drivers could have had a bad sleep last night or be very tired because they've been driving a long time. The figures show that nearly one in every three deaths and injuries on the road are related to driver fatigue. By the time you're asleep at the wheel, it's already too late. Health and safety laws aim to reduce driver fatigue, but not the risk of what sleep scientists call drowsiness. We refer to drowsiness as the state between alert wakefulness and sleep. That's not the same state as fatigue, which is a state of weariness after prolonged exertion. Drowsiness is something we all experience every day of our life, and yet there's hardly any research work specifically addressing that issue. Murray's innovative research founded a business called Optalert. Well, Optalert originally was created to save lives. It was a technology that was born out of the study of sleep research. Uh, it never existed before. So in the creation of the company, we not only had to bring a brand new product to market, but we have to educate that market as well. And that has taken us some time. More than 15 years, in fact. And here's the result. Lightweight glasses that could save your life, fine-tuned and custom-fitted for each user. Have you ever met a face you couldn't fit? Uh, not yet. Oh, let's try it on big nose. So this is the core of the technology? This is the sensor barrel attached to the glasses. We have two infrared LEDs and an infrared transducer which picks up the reflected signal. And what are they measuring? It's essentially measuring the distance between your eyelid and the sensor. Oh, I see. So like a, a miniature rangefinder or even a speed gun for my eyelids? Yes, that's right. It's bouncing infrared beams off the top of my eyelid like that. Pulses of invisible light are harmless. No matter which way your eyes are pointing, they're able to detect how the velocity of your blink slows down fractionally as you get drowsy. It picks up the very first signs of reduced alertness. Basically, it works by measuring several different characteristics of how the eyelids are moving when you blink. So we're measuring activities which you do all the time, spontaneously. Is it possible to fool a device like this? No, we don't think so. It's an objective measure and it's measuring a physiological um, mechanism, the blink mechanism. Um, so we don't think you can, you can fool it once it's properly fitted. After extensive testing and validation, very stylish, their technology is in the marketplace. These glasses are measuring the movement of my eyelids 500 times a second. The microcomputer on board converts it into a drowsiness scale, which I can see on this monitor here. At 4.4 or below, I'm low risk. At five or above, I'll get a warning signal. And that's so high, I'm so drowsy then, it's the equivalent of being too drunk to drive. Please take care. The scale of drowsiness that we've introduced is unique. There is no other scale like it. It's based on a combination of different variables. And altogether, we actually measure 23 variables. But we don't use all of those in our algorithms. We use about half a dozen. We actually measure the standard deviation of these variables rather than the means to put them in our algorithm. And that uh, gets rid of large differences between subjects. I'd just like my employers to know that I've scientific proof here that I'm alert when I need to be on the job. And for the first time, that's possible, with a wireless data link back to base. What this means now for managers is they can see the level of alertness of their entire fleet. And what we're looking at here on this iris is that real live connection of data. The number here is exactly the same number that the driver is seeing inside his cab, in real time, in any part of the world. And if you push that icon here, you get more detail of the driver. Moreover, you get four hours of his previous alertness level. He got to a point here where he received an in-cab warning. He became more alert after the warning for a period of time. Danger, high risk. And then took a break shortly after that. What I see every day of the week is people who are driving, whose behavior gets influenced by simply being aware of how alert they are. With mining and trucking companies, their current customers, the hope is to make OptAlert available to families in the near future. The task of driving is a unique one. The need to be alert is constant. Technology like ours has been built to help in that process.